Coaches, this is Mike Kuchar, www.xandolabs.com. Special thanks goes out to Coach Scotty Walden at East Baptist for putting together these clinic report clips on what uh, what he does in his run and pass game based on his check system and how he's able to get the ball and take advantage of space and leverages that defenses that do present. Um, Coach, just a reminder that the entire clinic report and the entire uh, full-length video is available by becoming an insider member at www.xandolabs.com. I'm going to take you through some progressions here that Coach Walden has put together. Okay, we'll talk you through what he likes based on what he sees offensively. Okay, we have 20 personnel to start with over here. Okay, coach system, quarterback, fullback, tailback. Okay, now everything based on his offense pre-snap is predicated on numbers defensively. Okay, what you're going to see right now is you're going to have six blockers. And, you know, I know we're, we're, we're talking uh, obvious here, coaches. Most people understand this concept where you're going to have one, two, three, four with the guard, five. Okay, and one other blocker from the black backfield, probably going to be that fullback, six blockers. Okay, the quarterback's not going to be counted on as, as a runner here. And you have the tailback who's going to carry the ball. You have six players in the box defensively. You have one, two, three, four. Okay, five, six, and you got that overhang player over there. Okay, quarterback right now is eyes again, and Coach Walden does a great job detailing this in the full length clinic report on the site. Okay, he's checking leverage right now. He's taking a look after he sees the box, he takes a look at the corner leverage, which right now is pretty tight to number one. Then he takes a look at the leverage, okay, of the rover outside linebacker against the slot receiver, okay, who's lined up over here. Right now, pre-snap, this quarterback knows that he has leverage on the slot receiver. Okay, he sees it automatically. Even with this rolled up safety, okay, he's going to have time to bang this slant. Okay, right in there to number two. And coach put together a few angles here that we'll take a look at. Get a better shot here, wider view. And again, it's all assessing numbers pre-snap, and it's all assessing leverage pre-snap. Okay, same thing, 20 personnel. Okay, you have what coach calls his H over here, okay, in the slot. Okay, the fullback here, tailback over here. Now, when you look defensively, okay, you got one, two, you got a four-man front. Okay, possibility of eight defenders, okay, tied to the box. Now, most coaches offensively will see eight defenders. You know, you're probably going to get one high or single high safety. There's a single high safety once you identify that. Okay, now you're looking at the leverage of the corners. Okay, pretty good leverage. You know, pretty wide leverage here by number one. A lot of space. Okay, we're talking here. It looks like 11 yards off the ball from that corner. Okay, to the number one receiver. Over here, you got a little tighter, eight yards. Okay, into the boundary. All right, but post snap, that quarterback knows that he's going to look for the softest throw right now. Okay, now watch what happens as this play develops. Okay, right now, as they're working that hitch concept, you see the force player to this side. Okay, he's going to take an outside pass rush move. So he triggers right now. It's going to leave that slot, okay, wide open to sit down in the corner. And again, this is all post-snap by the quarterback, by the receivers. Um, there's three different play packages into this element. The receivers are running their routes. The offensive line is blocking for the run game, so on and so forth. The quarterback has to see it, and the quarterback has to take the best option. Okay, so this is based off uh, coach's counteraction. So you have the backside guard pulling as well as a fullback pulling. Quarterback yanks the ball out of the gut of the tailback and gets the ball to the slot. Much better shot here. The blocking assignments for the go for offensive line. So they're blocking counter. You know, nothing changed offensive line. If they're blocking counter, that's it. Okay, quarterback has to make a decision based on numbers in the box and leverage outside. Takes a lot to practice, but pretty efficient if you could do it right. All 
Okay, pre-snap here, you got 20 personnel again, same formation offensively. Okay, defensively, looks like you're going to get somewhat of a seven-man box. You have four down, okay, and you have three backers over here. We're going to have two high safeties. Okay, one here, one here. All right, now, you got seven in the box, run game, not happening. Okay, you got six blockers against seven. Okay, not going to happen. Now, what's going to happen here is the quarterback again. Okay, now he checks leverage of the corners and the leverage right now, the depth of the corners and the leverage of the alley players or force defenders. Okay, number two already has leverage right now, okay, on that force defender. Okay, so it should be a free access, free access throw as this thing develops. Now watch what happens. Okay, as the play develops, the quarterback's eyes are now on that force defender. This force defender, and, and the last play he triggered, okay, and he came downhill. Right now, he's not going to do that. He's going to stay with the leverage of number two. He's going to get in that hitch window. So the court, now you have five. Now you have six in the box. So the quarterback decides to give the ball and take a shot. Okay. Got the run action there. The back has to beat someone, winds up getting a few yards out of it. So again, eyes on this play right now, playing force. Okay, post snap, the quarterback's eyes are on him. He's not triggering. Okay, he's going to sit in that hitch window. Quarterback throws the hitch right now, that slant to number two. Okay, he's sitting right in that window. It could be an issue. Okay, so the quarterback has to make a decision. He makes the best decision, and he gives the ball. And, uh, you know, pretty good yardage by the tailback here. He's able to break a tackle. Okay, now this is going to be a little different. You have a two-by-two two set, 10 personnel. Okay, you're going to get five in the box defensively. Okay, you got four down. And you got five as a mic. Okay. these. So right now, quarterback knows pre-snap. He's got numbers in the run game if he needs it. Okay, but now keep in mind it's a one-back set. Okay, so the quarterback would mean six, but you have five blockers up front. You should be okay here. So there's a couple options. All right, now... What he also is looking at here is that he's looking at the corners being pretty soft as the post snap is going to develop here. All right, and again, the eyes are again looking at the rover to the field. Okay. Not in a good position to cover that slot receiver. Okay, so right now this quarterback has an option to give five on five, run the ball, or he has an option to throw that slot receiver based on leverage of that rover. Okay, right now he decides to pull it right away. There's a slot receiver. Quick looky route. Quarterback delivers the ball. You know, when you get your playmakers in space like that, they got to be one man. You know, they got a chance of being pretty successful. Okay, so there it is. That rover is not in a good position right now to cover that slot. Quarterback delivers the ball, helps when you got athletes to make a couple, break a couple tackles, and uh, that's what could happen. Get to this last shot here, coaches. Okay, 20 personnel again, offensively. All right, defensively, you got four down. And a possibility of three linebackers in the box, or so you have seven in the box. Numbers do not equate in the run game. Okay, now your eyes go to the depth of the corners. You got some space out here. Okay, some space out here. All right, the the rover is covered down on the H. Okay, so right now any interior route looks like it's taken away free snap. Quarterback sees it. Now if you can see up top, you got an automatic bail technique by that corner coming out up top. Quarterback takes advantage of it. Okay, quick hitch by number one. Come back, get the ball. And 
And again, it's five yards, but it's first down. You know, and that's the way you got to look at it. Just taking what the defense gives you based on numbers and leverage. Let's see if you can see this bail technique. Really, yeah, see, I mean, he starts in the screen here. I'm looking up that top, that field corner. Okay, now he backs off. Quarterback knows that it's there. Just gets it to him right away. Offensive line, if you notice, you know, keeping it nice and simple for the big boys up front. Okay, they're running their gap schemes. Nothing changes. They know nothing about what's going on. And uh, again, Coach Walden did a great job detailing um, exactly what that gap scheme is, how he blocks it. Um, he also put together his hit screen concept off of this hitch and uh, another concept that he details in a full-length clinic report on what he does, okay, especially with 11 and 12 personnel. And again, you get that full-length clinic report at www.xandolabs.com by becoming an Insiders member. Coaches, we appreciate your attention. Thanks for logging in.